Hi, hi, it's Amidon. How's the holiday going? I hope your things have not been broken at home. But even if they have been, please bear with the children. The school will soon resume. So it's been a rainy day in Lagos, and I just decided to, you know, do a quick video on how to make oha or ora soup, whichever name you call it. It's been eaten by the um, people from the Eastern Nigeria, actually from people from Anambra State. So just a quick one. This is the vegetable ora itself. This is Ogi, we use it as a native maggi. This is pounded kukuyam. This is uzuza leaf already sliced. This is the palm fruit water. This one is actually coming from the freezer. This is what, this is a palm fruit. You boil, you pound, and you extract the water. This is periwinkle. I know some people will go, ha, huh, what is periwinkle doing in orasu? Yes, I've always said it. It's about what you want. It's about your own taste. It's about your decision of having a good meal is what you want, not what the world wants. So cooking or eating food is about you, it's about your taste, it's about your joy, because good food is good mood. So actually, because I'm making a quick video, the, my, the meat I'm using and the stock fish and the dry fish already have been cooked in a pot. The palm fruit water, I have pounded it, I have extracted the water, already have added in the pot so they are all boiling so just to give you a quick one when your meat is done not too cooked you pour your palm fruit water allow it to boil when it boils add your pounded cocoa yam in it if your pot gets ticking what else do you do you put your crayfish you put your maggi you put ogiri and your salt taste it put your pepper straight you allow it to boil just a little then you add your sliced ora and uzizali so that's just a quick one so straight i'm going to the pot because my palm fruit water is already boiled my kokoyam is in it in fact my pot is already ticking so i just want to wash all this slice it and put it straight in the pot let's go so yeah yeah like i told you before every other thing has been boiling the palm fruit water, the cocoyam for thickening. So I think I love the way the thickness is for now. That's my own. If you're making your own, however you want it. So this is the time to add my vegetable. I add my ora or how whichever way one you call it. When you add, you stop so that the pot doesn't get filled up with ora vegetable. The next on my agenda is to add my processor leaf. Because I said it's a quick video. So once these things you turn, and here we have it. Before you add your periwinkle, please try and boil it or rather cook it just a little so that it could at least be tender before adding it to the pot. You add your periwinkle before adding the or ra and uzuza leaf. So here we have it. My own quick video on orasu. Try and have a wonderful lunch. It's a rainy day in Lagos today. Straight to get my hot ever. See you. Ta da da. Here you have it. Good food is good mood. Ora soup is ready. Or oha soup. Anyone you choose to call it. So I just raise it up a little so that you can see what it looks like. Here it is. It is ready. The hot ever is already in the plate. The soup is there. So, this is another one of it. You can dish it out in a separate plate and eat it with your eba or your fufu. Anyone you choose to eat it with. The most important thing is that make sure you try this recipe out. Make it the way you want it. The easiest way and the tasty way you can make it. The most important thing is that you enjoy your meal, you eat healthy, and you take care of you. So, Take care. I want to go and eat my hot air bar. See you. Don't forget to follow me on Kunops. Love my YouTube page, Amidon TV. Till I come your way next time, I just drop this one here. Bye.